Hello guys, Christian here. Today it's time for another comparison test between Camors and Katia NC machining. First of all, we are not talking here about the prices and uh, how quickly I'm moving Camors and how slowly I'm I'm moving in uh, another product. From the beginning, I just want to, want to tell you something. I work in Katia and C machining for five years. I work in Camors for three years. So uh, I think I, I am the right person to tell you something about Katia and also about Camors. I will show you a simple part in 2.5 uh, uh, axis part, both in Katia and uh, Camors. So, I open up a Katia V5, open, I will check the types of files I, I can open in Katia, so all V4, V5 Katia, the general ones, IGS and STEP, but that's it. Uh, as far as I know, you can buy uh, additional software in order for Katia to recognize other types of files. I open this and this is a part. Mainly the first thing you have to do when you work in Katia is to define uh, the stock and the rapid plane. Uh, you have to do it um, let's say manually because in uh, Katia you don't have uh, some stock manager or something like this in uh, NC, NC machining. The fastest way to do this in Katia is to insert another body. On this you will, uh, I will, I will create a stock with the same size of this part and with, with an allowance of 5 millimeters. So I'll create a plane, offset it from this face with 5 millimeters and of course i will create also a rapid plane with 50 just to to have all the all the informations prepared for uh, for when I, when I start the nc machining on i have activated the new body on this plane i create a sketch okay let's do a rectangle Also here, and this will be my stock. I will create a pad on this new body. Uh, length is 55 with this sketch. Okay, this is my uh, this is my uh, my stock. And also here on sketch one, I will create a coordinate system. This is very important because this will be the zero program for all the programs in Katia. So now I have all the informations I need for NC machining. So start machining, prismatic machining. Okay. The zero program is this is this coordinate system. So part operation, uh, three axis machine. I can define here some uh, machining parameters. If you have a tools catalog, but in Katia to define a tools catalog is not very easy. Uh, it's not like you have a tool crib just like in other softwares. Uh, the post processor, I will. Um, Use a Senate mill post, helical and 3D interpolation, maximum feed rate, rapid feed rate, you can modify it. The second part is defining the coordinate system, the part, the stock. I will go here and select the new body. You can also define the fixture, the safety plane is here and now I can start my operations. So the first manufacturing program will be of course uh, facing. 
so I will select the bottom the top face of the part and the top plane will be this one on the machining you have direction of cut machining tolerance fixture uh, accuracy toolpath style let's say back and forth like this compensation here it's a little bit tricky because all you need to just you have one option here and the post that does the rest of course the radial step over and so on from the axial i have number of levels let's say two levels if i have a finishing path i have here the option so compute this is with the default flat end mill so let's change it to a face mill with diameter 50 looks good the feeds and speeds and if you want some approach macros and so on this is the without any lead in and lead out this is the, the facing so let's simulate play let's go a little bit slow and this is the facing a good thing in Katia is after you you made the simulation you will have the ability to uh, analyze the machining 3d model the machine part versus the um, I, I, uh, I can I didn't select any part uh, but you have the ability to um, uh, analyze the machine part versus the, the 3D model. Okay, coming next, the manufacturing program number two. Okay, so for this, I will uh, let's machine this pocket. So I have a pocketing uh, operation. I have facing, pocketing, profile contouring curve following groove milling point to point this is a good a very good uh, uh, strategy prismatic roughing and four axis pocketing and so on so for manufacturing program number two pocketing this is the bottom of my pocket until uh, until the top face of the of the pocket feature machining okay toolpath style let's say back and forth or out or helical so these are the patterns radial axial number of levels let's try let's try another options it's maximum depth of cut let's put it one and katia will calculate automatically the number of levels no finish pass oh let's do a, a finish pass with sickness zero high speed milling if you want you have corner corner on finish radius transition like this okay uh, the tool it's a flat end tool with diameter 10 feeds and speeds and of course approach and retract by default it's uh, defined by katia to retract to a safety plane let's select the safety plane here the safety the macro plane like it's right now you can always add movements to and build your your um, lead in and lead out let's compute looks good simulate this is a simulation of the pocket in pocket rough and pocket finish of course let's try again the um, analyze tool no design part selected i think i i forgot to do something but is there i use it many times and the last program manufacturer program it's a drilling program i will select these holes of course it will be very useful if katia will generate the proper tool for me 
but I have to click OK and uh, go to the measuring item and see that I need a drill with diameter 20. So go back to drilling. Okay, you have here the option to approach depth mode, breakthrough plunge, compensation, and so on. But unfortunately, and I know this is important in Katia, if you have different types of drilling, you have to uh, do uh, some changes in some changes in the post processor as far as I know. What can I say? Maybe in new versions of Katia, um, the tool can be modified very easily. Uh, maybe in uh, other versions of Katia, uh, this is very this this was improved. I, right now, I will activate the um, approach and retract, generate. simulation so i have a, a problem with the clearance plane this is very good again the the analyze tool the a legend this is very handy so right now my part in um, in katia is done so generate an nc code manufacturing program Tool motions, here is NC code. So right now, as you can see, and uh, I generate, uh, I generate um, uh, a file with an APT, APT extension file. Uh, the post processor in Katia, you don't have anything for free. You have to go to a third party and make a post for you, or maybe uh, the Katia reseller can provide you the post. I don't know. Uh, as far as far as I know, when I work with uh, with uh, Katia Five Axis or Zimons, we have a third party who who make the post for for us. So this is a part made in Katia. Let's try the same part, of course, in Chemors. Here are the types of file you have. You, you can define. You can open in Chemors. Any competitors you can open directly from Chemors. So let's try the step in Chemors. I don't want to run the import diagnostics. So, of course, I always can run the extract machinable features, generate an operation plan, generate tool path, simulate tool path, and then if you have uh, a good technology database defined in your uh, or on your computer and it is very easy, you can generate a program in seconds. This is not the, the issue here. I can always run the Chemos tolerance based machining, which is more faster. But I will do it just like I do in Katia. So the machine, the tool crib, the post. Let's try a Fanuc one. The stock manager. Okay. New meal park setup, the working area, the tool axis. It's the red one. In this in this phase, I can always en enter automatically a face. So look what happened. Camels automatically insert me a face feature. For this phase, I will insert a face mill with the same 50 millimeter die, uh, tool. Let's go to the tool crib and uh, not just to do the same just like in Katia uh, the face mill let's here I have one for 50 use this one okay feeds and speeds by library by operation by tool this also can be uh, customized by technology database by tool 
the facing, the cut method can be automatically and then cameras will calculate the number of steps on the y direction or user defined you will say the, the number of cuts as you can see the number of cuts is disabled the rapid plane and clearance plane feature options leads and links advanced posting and optimize let's generate okay i need to to make the same parameters only two steps on the z direction Okay, so a pocket from here to here. Let's generate, let's insert for this a roughing operation with a default tool by 12. A roughing, let's say, zigzag with uh, one millimeter. with the rapid plane already defined top of stock of top of feature by default feature options let's leave it to plunge generate irregular pocket contour milling the same tool it's not the issue feeds and speeds tool mill holder tool creep station feeds and speeds again let's say by operation Contour milling, NC, rapid clearance, feature options. Let's put an entry in spiral, lead, lead in, lead out, lead in type arc, perpendicular, parallel, or none. Let's do the, sim the generate toolpath. And the last feature is the hole. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Generate a drill operation, uh, the end condition on, uh, from here to here. And I want only a drill Stra strategy. All. So I want um, a drill operation. I will insert a new hole machining operation drill with a drill diameter 20. Feeds and speeds, drill hole parameters, the type of drilling, as I told you in CATIA, the NC, the feature options, add tip length. You can modify also override the machine in depth. You can also do this in CATIA, it's another issue. The simulation, the facing. The second step. Let's move move a slider. Simulation and the difference between the machine and the 3D model according to this legend. And of course, the last part is the post. You will get three uh, posts for milling, two for turning, two for mill turn, and one for YDM. By default in the cameras all for Fanuc machines. This is a part for uh, for, for we're using my post. So you know, right now you have two products: is Katia and Cam Katia and C machining and cameras. A simple part. The workaround in Katia maybe uh, it can be modified in some steps. Maybe I can do it quicker. Uh, also, I can do it much quicker in cameras. So right now, I think you have all the informations for a simple part I know to decide which is the best product for your company. Well, thank you for uh, for watching uh, my video. Until the next time, bye.